All right, this is Firemind here. And today we are going to have a look at how to create these falling leaves from a particle system. It's going to be a quick and easy tutorial. Please enjoy. Okay, so I have my scene here and now I want to add a particle system that creates these leaves. So go over here, right click and then go to effects particle system set the particle system position to zero 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 so that way you have it centered in your scene and then in the particle system go to shape and then here you want to change cone to sphere then change the size of the sphere to maybe like three you then want to come over to Google and search for some leaf texture. You want to make sure that you choose a leaf with a transparent background. So choose a leaf you like and then download it. Make sure it's only one leaf on a transparent background. When you have imported your leaves, go ahead and right click and create a new material. Call that material maybe green leaf. On that new material, go to Shader, change that to Mobile Particles Alpha Blend. And then on this, you want to set the texture to the image you just downloaded. Then go back to your particle system. And then your particle system on Renderer, you want to change the material to the material you just created. As you can see now, we have a few leaves flowing around. So the leaves are a lot, a lot bigger than you would probably expect them. So go over to start size and then change this to random between two constants and then change that to a size that you think looks good. I'm going to change this to 0 0.3, um, maybe 5. Also change the gravity modifier to 1 point, 0 0.1. You also want to get the start rotation to render between two constants. And put this to 1 and 360. That way they have a random rotation. Change the simulation sp space to world. Change the simulation speed to maybe 0 0.5 and then also since your forest is probably not in the middle of a storm change the max particles to like 100 now come over to emission change the emission to like maybe 5 depending on what you like I'll change it to maybe like 8 next you want to click rotation over lifetime check that and Click on separate axis. Next, you want to enable rotation over lifetime and change the angular velocity to perf. Make sure to bring up your perf monitor. And here you want to change this to like a preset curve that looks like this. And change this number to 180. That way you have your leaves turning now. And come over to external forces, check that. Maybe give that like a 0 0.7 maybe. Then also you want to check noise. Click on separate axis and then bring this to a few random numbers. Just play around with the numbers to see what you like. This kind of generates this woggling in the wind effect. Uncheck damping. Set the scroll speed to 1. Next you want to go to and check collision. And then we set the type to world and the bounce rate to zero and the damp to 0 0.2. That way the leaves kind of stick to the ground and then die. You also want to check pre-warm and here we go. We already have a pretty decent leaf falling effect.
maybe want to drag down the particle system a bit so you have a bit more from it. And also if you do not like the fact that it kind of like blows the particles in every direction, it's like so you have like leaves going up, um, you can also change the shape that it's emitted in to a cone and then have the cone point down that way the leaves are falling to the ground. That is how you can create like a falling leaf effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was a quick and easy one. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, leave me a like and also please consider subscribing. Thank you very much. Bye bye.